What's up guys, Sparky Izzy here, and today I'm gonna go over what's in my pack out. Before I start, I just wanna say thank you to anyone that has done a sticker swap with me. I love seeing all the unique designs, and if you're interested in doing a sticker swap with me, DM me on Instagram. So as you can see, my pack out is very large. And the first thing I want to say is that if you try to put this size pack out in a van, it's just going to be falling over because it has those wheels. So what I did when I was using this um, pack out every day, because I used to use this for residential and commercial service work. And I used to have this mounted in a van and I used this uh, pack out plate. All right, sorry, there's a helicopter. But what I did is I put this pack out mount onto the floor of the van and I just drilled it into the van floor. Um, it wasn't on the rolling part, but I started it with this this bottom one and I snapped it on and then I would stack them up. And then anytime I would take a turn on the van, it wouldn't really fall over because it was attached to that, that base right there. So first off is a cooler. This can be used for putting waters and drinks during a working day, but I like that it can clip onto the top of the pack out. Next, what I would use this for is if I'm going on a quick service call and it, this has like all my troubleshooting tools with it. So if we look inside, I carry my drill. I have um, a quick little bag that I can use for just taking off panels and stuff like that. I have uh, my fluke meter over here. I have a couple of racketeer bits, um, a stud finder, and a little Milwaukee um, attachment. Here are some more Racketeers products. This is used for pulling wire. This tool is useful too. It's a circuit, um, a circuit finder made by Klein. So what you do is you plug it into a receptacle and you can use this little receiver to find a circuit, especially if you're working around offices. That's when it helps out, but it helps on service calls. That's why I keep it in this box. Next we have uh, drill bits. So I keep drill bits in here, paddle bits, wood, metal, drill bits. Um, over here, we got some specialty bits. So in here I would keep, uh, in here I keep um, unit bits uh impact rated bits for my sockets and stuff like that but this box right here is just like my everyday tool bag if i need to get off real quick on a call that one's on the very top and I can just take that off. So next we have a pack out that's for all my machine screws and drywall screws, sleeve anchors. So in here I keep, um, I believe these are three eighths nuts, quarter inch bolts, quarter inch hardware. Um, they're kind of mix and match right now, but I usually try to keep them um, 1032, 832, 632. Those are the most common ones that I've came across. Some self tappers, washers, sleeve anchors when I deal with um, heavier things in drywall. Some lag bolts to attach to poles and stuff like that. These are called, we call them caterpillars. They're for receptacles when they're um, recessed in too much. You're trying to get them flush to the drywall, you use these. Um, sleeve anchors, I use them all the time to mount onto like brick, concrete. Um, I forgot what these are called exactly, but we use these in new construction. I don't use these too much because I was in service, but um, staples, definitely need some staples. These, hmm, I believe these are, I forgot what these are called, 10, there's 1032s and then there's 10 something else. I can't think of it. Leave it down in the comments if you know what the other thread is, but this is like a 10 something. Um, these, we call them tornadoes. They're just more drywall screws. But I like to keep this stuff on hand at all times. 
So next pack out, we have some three quarter to half inch reducers. Um, we got some Romex connectors. I have them both metallic and non-metallic. These, um, I call them candy canes. They're used to uh, mount on a stud and you can flip MC in here. These are good to keep. Some bat wings, what we call these. Um, this is for when you're running MC above ceiling grid, you can attach them to the, the, um, the ceiling grid wire. Um, I have some half inch. Out of all the trade sizes, I tend to use the half inch more often. So I got some half inch connectors and couplings, different styles. Um, over here, so uh, we got, these are all 3M wire nuts. These are my favorite wire nuts. Got some orange and blues, tan and reds, uh, red and yellows. And if you notice these dividers right here, these are actually made by a company called Neat Tools. Um, if you go down in the description, I'll have a coupon code for that, an updated um, code. And these are really cool because you can start dividing and and, and um, really customizing your pack out to exactly what you want. Like these little containers, you can actually pull them out and fill them up and put them back in. But you can just divide your pack out in different cool varieties. So it's really cool. Go check out Neat Tools. Um, but over here... This one is just like a little miscellaneous. If I have just random little tools, like this is a little blank plate for a switch. I just toss it in here. Um, these are remodel MC connectors. A couple years into the trade, I had never seen these. And once I found these, I was like, I didn't even know they make them. So you're used to connectors like this where you snap them in um, and then you have the ones that have a lock nut on them. But these, you can run MC through a box, through the hole with no connector. You strip the MC, then you snap on this connector and this MC connector snaps in through the box. This is really cool. If you've never seen them, you need to order them. Um, also, have I keep some doubles with me just in case I need a daisy chain off a box. That's that. And some ground tails. I need to stock these back up, but I usually keep the ground tails in there and zip ties. So next, what do we got? We got this by Racketeers, this ferret Wi-Fi camera. So this is really cool when you're doing service work and you run into studs or you run into anything and you're trying to see behind the wall. What you can do is you can turn on this camera and you can link into your phone. It links with the Wi-Fi. You link it to your phone and you can stick this through a hole and you can see what's behind the wall. That's really cool. I like to keep some um, files on hand when I'm doing cutting rigid or EMT and I just shave it down um, I keep different types of gloves these are Milwaukee gloves these are all enclosed I have some cut resistant gloves I keep some Milwaukee electrician gloves where your fingers poke through and you can really you can still use your fingers but your any other parts of your hand are protected um, some more Milwaukee cut resistant gloves. This is cool if you're working in like a rural area, you don't really have power and you need to charge your phone or your work iPad or something. You could um, plug in a Milwaukee battery here and you could charge it on the go. That's pretty cool. I like to keep this in here. This is a Racketeer snap sack. Um, it's cool because you could just clip this on your belt and you can put different like tools or um, screws in here and just have it on the front of your your waist and that's pretty cool um, these are just some attachments for my Dremel um, I got a magnetic what is it called this little magnetic tool if you drop a screw underneath the cabinet or in between something uh, you can pick it up and then you can also push on this handle and if something's not magnetic uh, let's make uh, for example let's say it's plastic you can reach in there and this is like a little claw. So this that's pretty cool. I like that tool. Um, also just a JBL speaker. Back when I was a Subaru ambassador, I have that. This is like a little random tool that I found on Amazon. And I've used it. It's pretty cool. I just don't know how long the battery will last. But what you do is you just put your fingers through here and you wrap it around. It has a light. And I think I need to put new batteries in it. But pretty much like as you're uh, messing with some wires, you can have the light on your receptacles or plugs, it's pretty cool. 
I mean, not receptacles, um, your receptacles are switches. And then this, this little Klein uh, wristband, you put it on your wrist and you can, like if you're messing with self tappers, you can stick them on here, it's magnetic, so. Bam. And just put some screws on there and just to keep your screws in order. So in this next compartment, see what I got. Right here, this I use to cut PVC. This right here is made by General. It's a PVC cable saw. So when you're working with PVC, um, existing PVC, and you can't really cut it at a certain angle, or let's say there's wires already inside the PVC, and you're trying to cut through the, you're trying to cut the PVC to shorten or whatever you gotta do, and there's wires inside, you can use this little rope. It's like a steel rope. You put on the PVC, and you just rock it back and forth, and it'll cut right through it. I've lost these a couple times in underground. So I have another one on backup because whenever I don't have this, I'm always screwing myself. So I have an extra one on hand nowadays. Um, this is a speed square to get some straight lines, some adapters for my impact in case I have a socket that doesn't fit. I can always just downsize it or upsize it. These are just some, um, um, what are they called? I forgot the name of these. Why do I not remember the name? like a hex, hex bit sockets from, um, these are just from Harbor Freight, some little cheap ones, but these are good for installing wires on breakers, at least just to get the wire, uh, the bolt all the way through and then you can torque it. Alternatively, I also have a Klein um, T-handle set, various sizes with this, but these come out and I have more underneath so I have a couple pouches with different stuff in them. So this one has, this is to drill through tile. And I have some extra hole saws in here. These are to tighten up lock nuts. I don't use these that much, but I have them. Um, these are, you put them on impact and you can tighten wire nuts. Also don't use these that much, but I already have them. This is for um, pulling jet line through conduit. These are little, I want to say we call them rats or mouses. I don't remember, but just different attachments so that I could use a compressor or a vacuum to get jet line through. I kind of just homemade some of these, um, but these are made by Greenlee, I believe. This is a low voltage bag. So we should do some work for a, a school where we would do um, auditoriums and and we would run a lot of Cat5 DMX. This is good to have for me at least. And some different Cat5 adapters. In here, this is a rotary tool, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, a rotary tool. This is good for like sanding little small things or cutting plastic, cutting metal. Like if you're just trying to cut little tabs off instead of using a big grinder or anything or a multi-tool, this is a good little tool to have. I also use this tool to sharpen my lawnmower blades. Dremel makes an attachment for that, pretty cool. In here is my tool pouch and tool bag. This, I use it for various things like, um, obviously I wear this on my waistband. I have the little attachment where I can put the hammer. Um, I can put my tools on this side, tape. And in here, I can either put trash or like connectors, wire nuts, stuff like that. This is really cool to have if you're doing, I don't know, residential, new construction, and you just wanna have like a lot of tools on you at once with the hammer to hammer in the staples. This is good to have. So next I have a broken handle and the apprentice I was working with claims he didn't break it, but hey, I'm not the one that grabbed it and it was broken. So I don't know who did that, but that broke but in here i have different hole saws and what i like to do is use a sharpie on the back of it just so i know exactly what it's used for so this is a six inch recess can but um if you ever try to buy hole saws you need a six inch recess can but the hole saw itself is a different size so um, when you start cutting it it starts wearing off so what i like to do is that's why i like writing them on the back 
This is a Driller's Dust Bowl by Racketeers. This is awesome when working in service and you're trying to install some recess cans at a customer's house. When you make that hole, all the drywall falls on the floor, but this catches it and then you can just dump this out. It makes it so much easier. This is awesome. And it's flexible. You put your holes on here and it, it actually flexes. So as you're pushing, the hole saw can reach where it needs to go. I also keep my sawzall in here. Um, different attachments for the sawzall. This is to like scrape a floor if you're doing flooring. This is just a searchlight by Milwaukee. Um, some more hole saws. This one's for um, those blue remodel boxes. I have a hole saw that cuts them perfectly so I don't have to do it by hand. This is a nether version um, to cut out recess cans. The cool thing about this one is this is adjustable. So if you're trying to do a four inch recess can, six inch, you can adjust it. This one's made by Klein Tools. We got a multi-tool. This is used so much in service work, cutting out boxes, cutting out holes, um, trying to run Romex, cut it out very easily. This is sweet. This is a racketeer's tool. Um, when you're cutting out boxes, you could just mark it, cut it, and then that's it. It's already sized to the box that you need. Some more hole saws, various ones on a job-to-job -job basis. This one's for four-inch recess cans. Um, blue circle remodel boxes. I guess I have two of them. Or maybe one of them worked, one of them didn't. Who knows? These are sawzall and a grinder attachments uh, blades i have my grinder with my uh the handle i already said the searchlight this is all my multi-tool attachments so all the blades metal wood everything's in this bag and then this is cool just an attachment for the hole saw if i need a longer one i can put this on the drill and it's just an extender and then it has a little screw to tighten it up and then last but not least, we have the base with the wheels. So one thing I wanna say about this is, when you lower this down, it only goes down so much. And if you have a truck with one of those bed covers on it, you'll notice that you can't put the bed cover down because this thing's too high. So, neat tools right here. They make this kit where you just pull these pins out and your handle will come off. So that's super cool because then now you can put it behind your truck or in a car. Or, Cause this thing is so bulky. And to put it back, you just put the handle back on and you lock it into place. So easy. Um, so once again, I'll, I'll have a link down in the description with a discount code in case you're interested in that. And this right here is also a accessory made by Neat Tools. So what I did is I mounted some batteries up here just for extra storage and so I know where they're at at all times. But these are just, um, I used some screws to mount these onto the lid. Same thing with these. Um, these are the M12 batteries. They just snap into place. These M18s snap into place. And it's just cool to keep them out of the way and utilize the space. Um, down here, I have some hole saws. These are just different size hole saws, half inch, three quarter, inch and a half, all the way up to two inch. They're a little rusted, probably left them out in the rain or something. This is a Klein laser. So this is good to mark out recess cans or keep everything in line across the room at the same level. I want the Milwaukee one, but that one's kind of expensive. I believe it's a little bit too expensive for what it is, but that one's like a quarter of the price. This is a Tecton socket set, but notice how I put Milwaukee just because it's red. But uh, this is just a socket set, have millimeters and standard. Three eighths one, pretty much any job that I've needed it on, I could use. Um, this is my security bit set. Like I said, I do service work. 
Sometimes we come across machines or anything that uses specialty bits, and these security bits have various types of weird odd and end bits that you would ever need. Once again, it's red, so I crossed it off. Milwaukee 3.0, fuel surge, you know? And what else do we got? This is a Brady labeler. So I have the case and I converted it to a rechargeable battery. You could change out these cartridges for different sizes, but this, I use it for labeling panels, receptacles, wires, anything. And I keep my MA Team Impact drill in a different hard case and my bandsaw in another hard case because obviously it doesn't fit in my Milwaukee pack out. And like I said, I used to run all these tools out of a van with that base so that all of this stuff doesn't fall. And these are just, um, what's in my pack out is stuff I would use directly on a call. Like if I'm gonna, if I'm on a job site and I need a couple screws, I'll just take that whole entire container and take it with me onto the job. Um, and if there's something else that I needed alternatively that wasn't in this pack out, I would just go to the van and get it by hand. So not everything fits in the pack out. This is just my personal belongings and just to have a space to keep it all together. So I'll make another video of my Vito Pro Pack tool bag. But like I said, if there's any tools that you're interested in and you want to know the name of it, I'm going to put them down in the description um, onto my Amazon store just to make it easy for y'all. Everything will be there. Um, I also have discount codes for racketeers and neat tools. So make sure you look in the description to get an updated link. But other than that, Sparky is a piece.